Hey, what's going on guys? So I just did a video um, talking about these OTFs and how some people have a hard time, you know, with the thumb pressure and you could check out that video, but it's just basically uh, talking about how you have to kind of get used to this and that these knives don't necessarily break in. And what I mean by that is that the pressure it takes to, uh, to you know, use this mechanism when you're pushing the switch, it's stiff, it's stiff for a reason, right? But anyway, so in this video, we are going to talk about maintenance because yes, your OTF needs a little bit of maintenance and you might not know that. So hopefully this video helps you out. All right. So what I have here is a couple uh, OTFs from TAC knives, three different uh, styles and sizes here. All right. Um, this little guy in the middle, I didn't use much, so that does not need any maintenance at all. Uh, however, this guy and this guy does. So, what kind of maintenance do you need? Well, first off, let's look at these knives. What do all OTFs have in common? They have an open front, right? We just have a, a slot here, and that means that dust and dirt and debris and pocket lint and all kinds of crap can fall in there. And, uh, and obviously that's not good because as that gets filled up with, uh, with gunk and dirt and stuff, it's going to um, not allow that mechanism to work properly. It's gonna jam. All right, so the very first thing all right, is that you have to lubricate these. So of course you can use whatever oil you want. I bounce back and forth between probably five different types of oil. It doesn't really matter. I don't have a preference. Some do seem to work a little better than others, but anyway, so what I have here is some KPL, all right? Knife Pivot Lube. Very simple. This one has a needle applicator. I would recommend some kind of a uh, knife lube that has this. It just makes things a little bit easier. You can pinpoint. This is particularly nice when you have folders, so you can really get into uh, you know the pivot areas. So what you want to do is put the blade out, right? Because using some logic here, if the blade is closed and I dump a bunch of lube in here, it's just going to just drizzle all down the blade, right? Not necessary. So open the blade, go on either side here. Now this has a nice uh, tight fit. If you look at this particular tack knife, you can see there's not a whole lot of wiggle room there, right? That opening is the size that it needs to be with just a hair extra. All right, this is a very good quality, but yet affordable knife. That's why I like these so much. That's why I talk about these tack knives so much. But uh, generally speaking, this one is a, a little bit cheaper. All right, this one has a little bit more wiggle room there. But basically what we wanna do is we're going to put oil on either side. All right, so squeeze that bottle and you do not have to worry about overdoing it. You can't use too much oil, okay? Go on the other side, squeeze, let that drizzle in there. All right, try a little on the back. We'll squeeze there, put it on the front. You just want it all over the thing. All right, you want it nice and wet. Let's set that down for a second. We'll do the other knife here. Same thing, oil on the front. All right, oil on the back. Oil on that spot, oil on the back spine. All right, let that drizzle in for a second. So we're holding these upright for just a second here, just to let gravity do its thing, all right? Let that, you know, dribble all down the inside, and then we're going to work the action, all right? So you want to open it and close it a little bit. All right, you don't have to go fast. I'm just trying to speed this process up since I'm giving you a demo. Open and close it a bunch of times. So after you've worked the action a little bit, open it. All right, there's one of my knife rags here. You can see very dirty. And give it a nice wipe down, okay? All the excess oil that you put on there, it's gonna splash everywhere. It's gonna get all of the blade. You wanna wipe it off. You don't want it to actually be wet. You wanna lubricate everything. All right, close, open, same thing. But you do not want it to be sloppy and wet in there. That can actually slow the action a little bit. Um, you know, in this case, I'm showing you using a lot of oil. Some of them are a little temperamental, depending on you know, the brand, which model, all that kind of stuff does make a difference, but some of them actually, if you put too much oil in there, it might throw it off the track, which obviously you want to just hold it upside down and keep it, you know, closed. Hold it upside down, let the excess drip out. Because we're just, we're lubricating things, but you don't want it to be a little, you know, fish tank in there filled with oil, you know what I'm saying? So, if you want to start off uh, with just a little bit, that's fine. You can always add more later. But for me, I usually just do that. Exactly what you saw. I just put it all around the pivot, work the action. All right, every time you open it, you might get a little more oil coming in and out. And that is it. So everything is nice and oiled, all right? So because we have an exposed or opened top on these knives, 
If you live, you know, on the coast with that, you know, salty sea air, if you live in a very humid area, you know, because this is open like this, the inside of those parts can start, um, you know, rusting. Even a little bit of surface rust can completely break these knives because there's such fine movement. There's tight tolerances. Again, the nicer the knife, the, the tighter the tolerances. And uh, any kind of surface rust is going to keep those from, from functioning properly, right? So this is the very simple maintenance. Keep these clean, all right? Now, if you see, this one has a pocket clip. The top is down. I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, a tip up OTF pocket clip, you know, mount, but you know, just use a little common sense. If you're around something and this thing is open like this, don't get stuff in there. If you get stuff in there, you're going to have to probably take it apart. Uh, in this particular case, these tack knives are easy because they have just some regular Torx heads uh, for the bits. You can take these apart to, to thoroughly clean them if you need to, but obviously your Microtex and other things, they have proprietary hardware and Although you can get the bits that open them, it voids the warranty and you get into all kinds of problems and stuff, right? So as far as your OTF goes, once you get the thing, you don't have to do anything. Just use it, enjoy it. Obviously it's a knife, keep your blade sharp, all right? So it's functional. But once in a while, all right, um, get a little lube, put a little lube on there and just lubricate stuff, all right? No different than you would your pivot on a folding knife, all right? And that's all you have to do to maintain your OTF. So there you go guys, hopefully the video was a little bit uh, helpful and uh, if you have any kind of issues with yours, the first thing I would do would be to, to clean it out. Now if you happen to have like, you know, compressed air in a can or something like that, or if you have a, uh, an air compressor, uh, close your knife and blow it out. Because guess what, these things do fill up with dust and dirt and stuff. Alright, so if you do have an issue where it's getting thrown off the track every time, it's probably dirty. All right, blow all, you know, compressed air in there, get all the dust and dirt and stuff out, see if that helps, all right? A lot of times that's all you need to do. If it doesn't help and it's still broken, if you have the capability of taking it apart like one of these, certainly take it apart and look inside, see what's going on and you can probably figure it out. But anyway, just, uh, just keep in mind, these do need a little lubrication occasionally. Don't overdo it. Like I said, if you use too much, you can't throw it off the track and actually make it seem like it's broken now, but it's not, don't panic. Just let uh, let the excess drip out and uh, and keep wiping off that blade until it's no longer dripping and you will be good to go. So that's all. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.